Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Byte the Bytes. In this video, I'm going to cover the fluid simulation and show you how to apply water, fluid in general, um, to your terrain. Okay, so the fluid simulation can be found here on the simulation layer by clicking the plus icon and accepting it with a left click, adding the fluid. Um, here's the mask, which is already visible. Um, we can disable it so you can see where the fluid actually is. To make it a little bit, a little bit more visible to you, we're going to add a material, take a color. Um, let's choose a typical water color, maybe something like this, and drag and drop the fluid on top of that color here so we can see where our water is. Now, <clears throat> we also can adjust where water should flow or should be, um, yeah, should come down from the, from the top, from, yeah, from the sky on top of the terrain by clicking here on edit. Let's make the mask visible and clear it out so we have no water anymore and now we can use a brush tool to tell what creator where we want the water to come down okay so um now we can see that the water has come down here and has yeah distributed on the train by flowing down uh, along the, the erosion lines and going down into the valleys and yeah um, staying there so we can use the durations button here again, the slider to see how the water actually distributes. So you can see here, it's been generated at that point and then it just moves out. And you can stop it any time. So um, uh, if you wanna stop it like this, you wanna see, okay, you wanna stay here and wanna see, okay, this is a, a lake or something, then just, just stop it here, the water will stop over here. Um, yeah, then you have further um, yeah, um, adjustments for the water, like the spawn amount again, just like with the sand. You can tell the creator not to spawn that much water or spawn even more water. And uh, yeah, with that you can adjust the water level um, in general. You further have um, some interesting uh, properties like the viscosity. Of course, the higher the viscosity. In this case, it's like it's lower viscosity. It's, it's really like very fluid. So it, it, it flows different, or if you have a higher viscosity, which means it's, it's more like, yeah, it's more like lava or something like that, then um, this could be simulated with this as well. Um, specifically, if you're doing lava, you could do a very high viscosity here, reducing the speed a little bit, and you get a more bulky water flow, which would um, be a little bit more affected like how water, uh, how lava, um, actually would be right so yeah we could also just change the color so it looks like a little bit like lava okay um then we have the speed as you've seen here this means how fast the water should move with each iteration uh with uh which is uh iteration and step then you have also wind settings like you can um, apply some wind here uh, which means there's a strong wind coming and manipulates and affects the water flow. You can tell from what direction the wind should come. So the water will flow different. And of course the water just behaves like any other simulation. It, um, it's not limited by the mask, which means it, the mask just indicates where the water will start. Um, regardless of this, the water will just flow out, um, out of that region and flow until it just can't flow anymore. So even here, if I'm reducing, um, if I'm reducing the area, which means, okay, the area of that mask is this here, and the water will flow outside of the area because uh, it, it makes no sense to stop here, okay? So it's, it's completely based on the terrain. The, the larger the terrain, of course, uh, the more operations are, are, are required, but it will just flow as, as, um, as much as it can until it really stops physically. Okay, that's it for the water. Hope you enjoyed. Um, check out the other simulation tools too. Have a great day and stay safe.